Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Coach Swift at Make Money Coaching Sports. Uh, so today's topic is something that um, it definitely frustrates a lot of coaches, frustrates a lot of business owners who do a service like this. Okay, uh, there's two things uh, I get a lot of, uh, I, you know, in our group coaching calls and then talking with other trainers around me in my city. I always hear, uh, how do I handle parents who are supposed to be on Mondays at 5 p.m. and the next thing you know, like they need to move to a different day and time. And then two, what do I do when uh, they don't even tell me that they're, they're not gonna come and then they just show up a different day? Uh, these are very frustrating things. And you know, a lot of, sadly, I, you know, to get benefit of the doubt, a lot of parents are actually used to lazy trainers and coaches who don't have any structure or system in place, okay? Um, it doesn't matter if they work for like uh, another sports performance gym or they're independent at the fields on their own. Uh, they don't have any structure on there, so parents are kind of feeding off what they know based on experience, okay? Uh, we have a lot of lazy people in the industry, and that's why they don't, they don't last very well, but they do make it harder for all the rest of us to um, to get more done, but we can also take advantage of learning from that and help others. So the first thing is when they want to, when they even want to have a session, they need to go through you, okay? Uh, you have to make sure that one, uh, let's say you do a mix of small group, six to 10 kids or one-on-one. -on -one. They need to make sure that one, they are scheduling through you uh, that it's okay for a certain day of time, let's say Monday at 5 p.m., that you can take their child in, okay? And because let's say you're doing one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, me, in the past, I've had uh, athletes who I did one-on-one -on -one with them for a short period of time because they were on post-ACL uh, protocol, okay? I didn't want to mix anybody else with them. It was too early in their protocol to do that. And so I would have parents saying, uh, you know, they, they wouldn't even come to the Monday at five. They tried sh uh, showing up at six uh, or uh, I'm expecting at five. They don't even come. OK, um, that's that, that's a really big problem. And um, if you're expecting a bunch of kids to come, but they don't show up, you just waste the time. OK, you might think, oh, it's just an hour. But those hours add up. What could you be doing? You could be making money. Uh, if it's not making money, you could be. Uh, doing something with your family, okay? You'd be spending time at home. Uh, you could be doing other parts of your business, but instead you took time away to make sure that you're prepared for a session that nobody showed up for. Uh, on that note, uh, let's say they can't come on Monday at 5 p.m., but they're like, hey, I'm just gonna come anytime that I want because I know you have all these hours open. That is not okay, okay? Um, because once again, they have to understand that you may or may not have uh, enough room for them at another day and time to think about showing up uh, uninvited, basically. And even if you do have room, let's say it's a 16 year old, but the time they come in is with 10 year olds. That doesn't work out for anybody. The 16 year old doesn't benefit very well because the level of training is down to the 10 year olds. Um, the 10 year olds are distracted by something bigger. You know, it's just not, probably how you're running your business, okay? Um, you wanna keep things as structured as possible. When somebody says, I can't come in at one, you wanna tell them, tell me if you're not able to come in ahead of time as best as possible, okay? Uh, and then two, if you can't come in, the next protocol is for them to give you uh, possible solutions. The next days and times they can come in and then you will compare in your schedule to see if there's a fit, okay? Um, this is something you have to do. In the beginning, it's a little frustrating uh, and a lot of people aren't used to it, but the better you do it, the more you prime them, okay, uh, for how things go um, for your procedures. And when you do that, they will, if they don't like it, because that's just not how they live life, which I don't understand either, then they'll just leave and you'll be done with it and you can move on and have somebody else in there who will comply with how you wanna do things and everybody's gonna be happy. Um, if they don't leave, they'll gradually learn to respect it because you are keeping this as professional and business as possible. And they'll learn to appreciate it as much as they respect it because now you're um, 
giving them some autonomy, but you know, you, they have to give you some respect to yourself also. Okay. Um, so people, they, they need to tell you if they're not going to come in, uh, it's not okay to not say anything. Uh, two, they need to tell you, uh, when there are other days and times they're thinking about, but they have to wait on you to get the green light to see if that works. Okay. If you don't have any of that, then you're going to have the most random sessions, the most random appearances, and you're basically running a daycare, not a serious sports performance coaching business. Okay. Uh, I worked at a gym that, you know, you could, you, we, we had everybody when we first went there, we took over the staff, uh, they fired the other staff for doing a bad job that we went and we told me when they left, okay, parents, when is the next time you're coming in? Write it in the book. Okay. If you know two or three days ahead of time, write it first and last name of the book and you're in. Okay. We also told them text the coach if you are not going to make it. Okay. And if you're not going to make it, what other days and times can you make? All right. Um, and when you do this, you want to make sure you don't get caught in trying to please everybody and open up random times and days just to make them happy. Uh, that, oh, I went out of my way just to get you in and I don't even know, normally work through those hours. That's down a bad path because some people, they still won't care. Uh, you'll end up getting people like I've had in the past when we did that. And uh, I said, yeah, you know, you come at 3 p.m. before any other group's coming because I know you'll get stuff done. And then it's like 2.45. Hey, coach, I'm not coming in. Uh, my mom wants me to go grocery shopping with her, even though your mom said you were going to go. Uh, so we got to have structure with all this. Uh, you're going to feel like a jerk but you don't feel like as big of a jerk compared to the people who don't obey by how you want to structure, okay? So one, they must go through you on what days and times their first option is to come in. They must tell you uh, when they decide not to come in, and then they must compare and contrast with your schedule on when they can make up uh, that day, okay? Um, you need all this in your business, no matter if you're going to be at a soccer field or you end up getting your own uh, 10,000 square foot facility, okay? It's going to make everything better. You'll be taken more seriously. Um, and you don't ruin the experience of not only yourself as a coach, but also those who are in your groups that um, did everything the way you asked, okay?